Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making some cowboy pinto beans. If you've never heard of them, it's a new take on banked beans, except they're not as sweet, but they're very good. So I've got a pound of pinto beans right here that have soaked overnight. I also have a package here of side pork. I only, this is really thick sliced stuff. Um, I'm going to be using I don't know. It, it, the original recipe calls for six slices of regular bacon, so I think I might um, maybe do three of these, and I'm going to cut these into half inch, and I'm going to go ahead and cook these up first and foremost. Okay, I've got two large onions here that I'm going to chop up in my small little food processor here. Very simple recipe. Um, over in my pan here, I'm actually cooking up all of my um, side pork because I'm going to be freezing the excess. I'm just going to be using, um, for all those beans, maybe a cup of these after they're all crispy. Maybe three-fourths of a cup, we'll have to see. Original recipe called for six slices of bacon. Okay, I've got my pork all done. I've got some oil, two tablespoons of the reserved bacon fat in here, along with all the bits, and throw in my onion. I'm going to saute this for about five minutes until it's soft. Um, now I chopped up one of my onions in my food processor, and the other one I left in kind of chunks like that. So you want to saute this on medium heat, scraping up all of them lovely pork bits off the bottom. Pans are quite up to heat. Very simple recipe. I also have two cloves of garlic that I have uh, finely chopped over here that I'll be adding. And then I also have my spices, which is a tablespoon of dried oregano, a tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of ground cumin. And we'll come back. Okay, this is softened. It's cooked for about five minutes. Next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add my garlic and my spices. My garlic, and the spices. I want to cook this for about a minute. Stir this up real well. You want all those spices to cook a little bit. You want the garlic to cook a little bit. Again, I'm still on medium heat. Brings out all the flavors, the spices. Next, what I'm going to be adding after this is cooked is I'm going to be adding the beans with three cups of water. Sorry, that's scraping. delicious and my timer going for my one minute you really want everything to be real fragrant before you add your beans in there all right go ahead and add my beans you can give us a little 
little stir before I add my water. Coat them beans a little bit. Yeah, I'm using the spatula. I don't care. Alright, here comes my water. Three cups of water. I'm going to go ahead and pour this over my spatula and get that all the stuff off of there. Alright, crank up that heat. You want to bring this to a boil really, really fast. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a cover on it and we're going to cook it for 45 minutes on a low simmer. First what we're going to do is bring it up to a boil. I'm going to clamp my lid on there to make it come to a boil faster. This is up to a boil. I'm going to give it a quick stir. A little quick stir. I'm going to turn it on to simmer. Oops, I'm dripping all over the place. I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. 45 minutes. All the way down on low. 45 minutes and we'll come back. I am back. It's been 45 minutes. I'm going to take my lid off here. And gently boiling, or sorry, simmering. I'm going to give this a stir. Now what we're going to add is a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Which I have right here. And a third of a cup of packed brown sugar. These are not, this is not a real sweet bean recipe. This is a old chuck wagon recipe that they would do on the chuck wagons back in covered wagon times. I'm betting what they probably did is they would soak the beans while they were traveling and then they would cook this so next what we're going to do is we're going to, I want to bring this up to a boil, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I'm just stirring that brown sugar in there. When this comes up to a boil, I'm going to turn it again back down. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? These are going to gently simmer again, partially covered. So when I put the cover on, I'm going to have it vented a little bit. For another 45 minutes, I'm going to stir it occasionally. This is going to get thick. Um, and we'll come back when we're all done. The bacon, or the, yeah, the bacon, um, I have a side pork. Which I've got mine right here. Is going to go in last. I gotta try a piece of this. Pretty damn good. Oh man. Nice and crispy. This goes in last. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just like throw it in like the last five minutes. And maybe just leave a little for a sprinkle on top. It's boiling. It's starting to come up to a boil. So I'm going to do a half cover here. It's boiling. And I'm going to turn it down to my simmer again for another 45 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, these are done. I think I let it go another extra 15 minutes, so uh, I wanted the sauce to get thick. I also put my pork in there bacon, whatever. Looks good. There you go. Cowboy pinto beans. <laughs>